Alright, in this video we are going to investigate the integrals of the tangent of x to some power by the secant of x to another power. And we note that the powers m and n are positive integer powers. We have quite a lot to cover, so let's start straight away. The first case that I want to have a look at is the integral of tan cubed of x by secant squared of x. And this is the easiest case where we simply make a u substitution. So we let u equal tan of x. Now this integral is driven by the term secant squared by dx. And we note that the differentiation of u with respect to x is the u is equal to secant squared dx. So the integral simply becomes the integral of u cubed by du. So this is simply a power integral and the result is u to the fourth on the fourth plus the integration constant c. And u being equal to tan x, we write the result as equal to tan to the fourth power of x on 4 plus c. So now generally whenever we see a case where the power of the secant term is 2, we can simply use the substitution u is equal to tan x. So generally, when we have tan to any power by secant squared of x, use the substitution u is equal to tan of x. Okay, for case number two, let's investigate the tan to the fifth power of x by secant to the fourth power of x. And this is a case where the power of the tangent can be any power, but the power of the secant term must be an even power. This integral I can rewrite as the integral of tan to the fifth of x by secant squared x and by secant squared x again. So I reserve a secant squared x dx and then using the identity that secant squared x is equal to tan squared x plus 1, I can rewrite this integral again as tan to the fifth of x by tan squared x plus 1 secant squared x dx. So it's the integral now of this expression. And then if I expand the tan fifth of x into the parentheses, I get the integral of tan to the seventh power of x plus tan to the fifth power of x by secant squared x dx. And then I can use the substitution that u is equal to the tan of x. And the differentiation of u is equal to secant squared x by dx. So this brings us back to what we had seen in case number one. So the integral once again becomes a simple power integral of u to the seventh plus u to the fifth with respect to u giving the answer of u to the 8th on 8 plus u to the 6th on 6 plus the integration constant c and then substituting tan back in we get tan to the 5th of x oh, sorry tan to the 8th of x on 8 plus tan to the 6th of x on 6 and plus of course the integration constant c so generally when the secant power n is even reserve the term secant squared x dx use the identity
secant squared x is equal to tan squared x plus 1 to get everything in terms of tan x and then use the substitution u is equal to tan of x. Okay, for the third case, suppose we have the integral of the tan to the fifth power of x by secant to the third power of x. So in this particular case, both the power of the tangent and the secant terms are odd. We can rewrite this as the integral of tan to the fourth power of x by secant to the second power of x by tan x by secant x dx. So the term that I want to reserve is tan x by secant x dx. And we note that tan to the fourth power is equal to tan squared all squared and tan squared is equal to secant squared of x minus 1 so it's secant squared x minus 1 all squared and when we perform binomial expansion on this term we get sec to the fourth power of x minus 2 times sec squared x plus 1 and the remaining terms are sec squared x tan x sec x dx and of course the integral at the front and now I'm going to use the substitution u is equal to the secant of x and the differentiation of u with respect to x is equal to tan x sec x dx and before I go any further let's not forget to expand this secant squared into the parentheses to get the integral of secant to the 6th power minus 2 sec to the 4th power plus sec squared x by tan x sec x dx so the integral becomes the integral of u to the 6th minus 2 by u to the 4th plus u squared du. So again we've converted it to another simple power integral giving us the answer of u to the 7th on 7 minus 2 u to the 5th on 5 plus u cubed on 3 and of course plus the integration constant c and substituting secant of x back in we get sec 7th on 7 minus 2 fifth sec 5 plus sec cubed on 3 plus c. So generally when m and n are both odd reserve the term tan x sec x dx use the identity tan squared x is equal to sec squared x minus 1 to get everything in terms of sec x and then use the substitution u is equal to sec x Okay, for the fourth and final case, let's look at the integral of tan squared x by sec x. So, specifically, the power of the tangent term is even, and the power of the secant term, which in this case is 1, is odd. And this case is the trickiest to evaluate, but in terms of manipulation, all we want to do is to write the tan squared term or the tan to the even power term in terms of sec x so we recognize that tan squared is equal to the secant squared of x minus 1 and the remaining terms we write down so the secant of x dx and the integral 
and then if we expand this second into the parentheses we get the integral of sec cubed x minus sec x dx. So what this integral has turned into is the integrals of two odd powers of secant. And this is why integrals of this form are harder to evaluate because for smaller odd powers of secant these are quite manageable but for larger odd powers, say 5 and above, these integrals get quite difficult very quickly. Now I happen to know that the integral of secant cubed x is equal to a half of sec x tan x plus a half of the natural log of the mod of sec x plus tan x. We also have minus the integral of secant which is equal to the natural log of sec x plus tan x and then plus the integration constant c. So this simplifies to a half sec x tan x minus a half natural log of sec x plus tan x plus c. So in general use the identity that tan squared of x is equal to sec squared x minus 1 to get everything in terms of an odd power of sec x and then integrate odd powers of the secant of x. So please give me a like if you have found this video useful in helping you to understand the integrals of tan to the m by sec to the n. And please feel free to ask any questions or discuss this using the comments below. And please feel free to subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.